Welcome everyone. So welcome everyone to the first Braille Literacy Canada Symposium. The theme of the symposium this year is from Braille Literacy to Empowerment. My name is Natalie Martiniello and I am the president of Braille Literacy Canada. As you are all entering the room, you will notice that you are muted. We've done this just to cut down on the background noise. However, you will have an opportunity to ask questions during the Q&A after each talk. Before we begin or go any further, I would like to start with the land acknowledgement. We would like to begin by acknowledging the Indigenous peoples of all the lands we are on today. While we meet today on a virtual platform, we would like to take a moment to acknowledge the importance of the lands which we each call home. We do this to reaffirm our commitment and responsibility in improving relationships between nations and in improving our own understanding of local Indigenous peoples and their cultures. From coast to coast to coast, we acknowledge the ancestral and unceded territory of all the Inuit, Métis, and First Nations people that call this land home. Please join us in a moment of recognition to acknowledge the harms and mistakes of the past and to consider how we are and can each in our own way try to move forward in a spirit of reconciliation and collaboration. For those who are new to BLC, welcome. For those who are returning, welcome back. BLC is the Canadian Braille Authority. Our members consist of Braille users, teachers, transcribers, proofreaders, and anyone else with an interest in Braille literacy. You can learn more about who we are by following us on Twitter at BRLLitCan or by visiting our website at BrailleLiteracyCanada.ca. Today, you will be hearing from a number of fantastic speakers. Each speaker will start at the top of each hour. After each presentation, there will be a brief Q&A followed by a 15 minute transition. This event would not be possible without the immense support we've received. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of our speakers, our volunteers, my fellow board members, and all participants who are with us today. Throughout the afternoon, we will be distributing some very exciting door prizes thanks to the generous support of our sponsors. I would like to especially thank, thank our sponsors now, Humanware Crawford Technologies and iDesign. For those of you who don't know, Humanware is a leader in assistive technology for people who are blind or who have low vision. You likely know them for their incredible suite of Braille displays, like the Brilliant, note takers like the Braille Note Touch, audio digital book readers like the Victor series, and for their Prodigy magnifiers. Thank you to Humanware. Crawford Technologies provides transcription and document transformation services for businesses to help them, for example, sending you vital documents in Braille like your visa bill in the, mail, in the mail. Thank you to Crawford Tech. iDesign is an inclusive fashion brand based in Toronto, Canada that creates braille beaded clothing with a social purpose. Working with blind and visually impaired individuals around the world to co-design their garments they aim to set a new standard for inclusivity in fashion. Thank you to iDesign. 
As a special thank you to everyone who is attending, all volunteers and participating um, individuals, both today and tomorrow at our AGM. iDesign is providing a 15% off discount code for all of their iDesign t-shirts. The discount code will be available starting today through midnight Eastern time on Sunday, June 6th. And you will get 15% off all of the iDesign t-shirts. Just enter the discount code braille15, that's lowercase braille with the number 15, um, at the checkout point. And you can go to their website, which is idesign.com, A-I-L-L-E-D-E-S-I-G-N.com. We will put this information in the chat as well, just in case you've missed it. So don't worry about that. Thank you to iDesign for that as well. A few final words on today's event. Trivia is taking place tonight at 5 p.m. Eastern to 2 p.m. Pacific, but we recognize that not all of you will stay for the entire day. All of you will have received a short survey asking to confirm if you will be attending the trivia night. If you haven't completed this survey yet, we encourage you to do this before 2 p.m. today so that we can finalize our arrangements. The survey will just simply ask for your name and whether you're planning to stay for the trivia night, so we'll only take a few minutes of your time. Thank you so much for doing this. I would also like to take a moment to recognize one of our board members, Tammy Grennan, who has put a tremendous amount of work in organizing the trivia event, compiling the questions, and organizing the teams. This is a huge amount of work, which Tammy has done for us before, and we are so incredibly grateful for her leadership so that we can offer this as part of our event. Thank you, Tammy. Finally, as mentioned, everyone is muted for the time being. At the end of each talk, you can raise your hand by either pressing the raise hand button under the more button on your phone or by pressing alt Y on a PC, option Y on a Mac. We will then unmute you so that you can ask your question. The chat feature will also be available if you prefer leaving your comment there as well. This event is being recorded. Captioning is turned on and written transcripts will be provided afterwards.